okay, I cannot wait any longer. I was postponing making a video for so long because we were either running around or the weather was failing me. Um, so basically it's raining all day every day and I couldn't get myself together to just film a video and update you guys, but I'm gonna do it now and we're finally not in the car, um, which I was against, but I guess we'll make it work either way. Um, okay, so about the news, um, tomorrow morning we will be leaving Poland and me and my mom are gonna go back to Ukraine. We're gonna go to Lviv, which is a Western city um, in the border of Poland and Ukraine. And we're gonna be visiting my grannies. Also, my dad is gonna join us very soon. He's gonna go from the Eastern to the Western part. Also, one of the things that we did um, in these past days, we extended my passport because it was supposed to expire on April 27th this year, which is very very not on time but we extended it uh, for four more years and we did it at the ukrainian council that is located in the city we're currently in in poland so if you need any information on how to extend your passport you can ask me in the comments i will reply because it's really easy the other thing that we did was buying tickets but we didn't specifically buy them Mariana from Florida that is helping us with this entire thing. She bought them for us, which I'm very grateful for. And um, she was, she felt really strongly about us not spending our own money. It's honestly so amazing the way so many people are helping and everyone is just doing anything that they can. It's amazing. And um, I wanted to, thank our Polish friends for giving us everything and anything we needed all along and specifically for providing roof above our heads, food and all of the necessary stuff for living because uh, there were some many troubles with mostly our dogs that would scratch the door or bite some furniture it was horrible because we couldn't really do anything about it um, because our dogs are like very small. Corey was only eight months old. So yeah, I have to say that Polish people are helping the most, especially Robert and Anya that invited us to their house and provided us with everything that we needed. And we are staying here for over a month which is insane to me because I would never stay at someone's house for that long, but they made it possible. They opened their doors and they're taking care of us. And I'm just very grateful for that. Yesterday, me and my mom, we went to get ourselves train tickets from Permischel to Berlin um, in order to go to Frankfurt in the end and get to the airport. And we honestly wouldn't have got them if it was not for the guy, Krzyszek, uh, which is Christopher in America, I believe. Um, but yeah, his name is Krzyszek and he's a volunteer. He goes to Ukraine regularly and he just returned to Poland for the Eastern holidays and he is going back to Ukraine in order to provide Ukrainians with food and supplements and anything that they need. He is going to visit Kharkiv, my hometown, which is in insanely dangerous at the moment and he helped us get the tickets that we needed um he spoke to the woman that was selling the tickets he translated everything and it was much easier with him but it's not just easier it's amazing how he could help us and he didn't have to he's a young boy and he could just stay in his country and do whatever but he chooses to help so He's a grown man and that's just amazing to see. And so I'm very grateful for the Polish people that are helping because everyone that we met is helping somehow. Yeah, it's our last day in Poland and I wanted to thank everyone from here. But tomorrow morning we're leaving for Lviv and we're gonna be seeing everyone there. We're gonna be seeing Ukrainians. Um, so I'm gonna be filming and showing you the insect from there. 
also I'm going to be taking you along on my trip from Premischel to Berlin, from Berlin to Frankfurt, then from Frankfurt to Cancun and so on and so on. You're going to be seeing a lot of moving, <laughs> a lot of trains and maybe even a plane. I'm not sure if I'll be filming there, but I will try my best because I'm not yet into this whole filming thing, but I'm going to be trying my best to keep up and keep everyone updated. Um, thank you so much for watching. It's a really short video, I guess, but see you soon in Ukraine.